All right, so today uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about green screening. Um, so I'm an amateur video maker. I've made some great tutorials on your kits, um, on how to make some brackets, how to, how to do some things um, on a low budget. Uh, this behind me, this is my green screen. This was my lowest budget yet. It cost me about $25 to create my green screen. I got myself some um, plastic board um, at Home Depot and I printed out um, a green swatch. Um, it's as pure as green as I could get. Um, basically I just zeroed out my reds and blues and I maxed out the green. I printed out this small swatch and I took it over to Home Depot and I printed out myself a color sample. It actually took two color samples, um, total of like six dollars for me to paint my green screen and put about three coats on it. Um, it's not chemico green but it is going to serve the purposes you need to actually green screen yourself out and put yourself in other places. Um, I had a lot of fun making this. Um, if you notice, I, there are some hot spots and probably some shadowing behind me. It's not a real big deal. Um, most of that's from my lighting. I do need to go get myself a couple more lights um, so that I can separately light both my foreground and my background. Um, so my subject needs to be lit separately and without the proper lighting you do have some issues with that. For the purposes of this um, it's not a huge deal. Um, I suggest at least four lights um, for your green screen and three lights for your subject um, all lit separately. Um, as you look behind you um, you can do a lot of great things with green screens. Um, first thing is that you're going to notice that on my right side my left side here and my right side here, you're, you're a little out of frame. There's some walls behind me. Not a big deal. Um, when you go to actually make the video, you just crop those in and um, your background comes through on that side and then you'll green out, you'll key out all the background images, um, either using Final Cut, Adobe, After Effects, um, whatever program you prefer. You can actually do it even in Photoshop. That takes some time though because it's a frame by frame. Uh, and uh, that's really all I have on the green screen. I'm going to show you a couple effects with it. Um, we're actually going to go. Um, we're going to go check out some uh, some forests, and we're going to go check out you know the Eiffel Tower. Even um, let's go take a look at the Eiffel Tower right now. All right, so let's. I'm going to get up here, and I guess I'll I'll teleport there. All right, and there it is. There's the Eiffel Tower. Um, now we look a lot smaller. Uh, comparative, to, comparative to the Eiffel Tower because what I've actually done is I've shrunk myself down to fit in frame with the Eiffel Tower so now I've been to France. Um, it's a lot of fun to go places you've never been before um, when making it you know in my studio here uh, it looks like I'm not there anymore I'm in France. You know what I, I think I'm gonna go check out um, I don't know Mount Rushmore sounds like a great idea Let, let's go see what happens when we go to Mount Rushmore all right. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful Mount Rushmore right there. Isn't that a wonderful sight? You know, it, you never. sometimes in your life you never get to see it. I've actually got the opportunity to see it twice now. Once with you and uh, once when I drove across the country. Um, I have a lot of fun with my green screen and we'll bring it back into my studio. Appreciate you watching and come back for some more later.